Well, as you know, one of the most popular New Year's resolutions is to get more healthy and to lose some weight. So today, our special guest is actually a registered dietitian. This is Nora Allen. She lives locally here in the Lehigh Valley. So Nora, tell us first, what is a registered dietitian? A registered dietitian is a credentialed professional by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Okay, and so what do you, as a registered dietitian, or even in the work you do now, your day-to-day -day life, like what does that actually mean? What do you do every day? Well, the training required to become a registered dietitian requires four years of undergraduate coursework, as well as 1,200 hours of supervised practice in an accredited internship and sitting for a national certifying exam. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Yeah, so you have a lot of professional schooling, right? This isn't just yes. like you're gonna just like toss around some uh, some nutrition advice because no. you read it in a magazine <laughs> this month, right? You no. have a lot of professional education. And so are you working with the public? Are you working um, behind the scenes somewhere? What do you what do? You do I day? work in long-term care and uh, subacute rehab facility in Quakertown as well as in Trexlertown. So day to day I work with the grandmas and the grandpas that we all love, <laughs> keeping them healthy and strong, taking care of their weight if they go up or down, if they have any health conditions, heart problems, kidney problems, making sure their diet is appropriate, any issues with chewing or swallowing, addressing those things as well. And you, uh, this is really exciting because this is rare. You're in rare form here in your field. <laughs> you are also a vegan. Yes. So how does being vegan and a dietitian play into your, into your work? It's really interesting. What got me interested in nutrition and got me excited was when I first went vegan in high school. Mm -hmm. I've been vegan for about seven years now, and I couldn't imagine it any other way. In my day-to-day -day life, as well as in my studies, obviously things were very different. They do recommend dairy, they do recommend meat, but at the same time too, there's also practical applications for alternatives. And being a vegan, I'm well versed in the healthy alternatives. For example, having complete proteins, mm -hmm. varying your grains, varying your sources of protein, and even meeting your needs for calcium, for zinc, for iron, all those big things on a meatless, dairy-free, egg-free, cruelty-free diet. I love that. And so you're not lacking for anything. You can no. probably hold your own and when people are asking, where do you Absolutely. get your protein, Absolutely. where do you get your calcium? You can like list it off, I'm sure, I right? can. I can roll it off my tongue. <laughs> yeah. I love that. All right. Well, we're going to get started now and try some of the food I made today. And we have uh, all of these dishes. So this here is a roasted Brussels sprout and shallot cake. Uh, it's with chickpea flour and an olive tapenade. So this is all gluten-free. We have another gluten-free dish over here. This is roasted yams and beef with a lemon, parsley, and sunflower seed topping. And finally, uh, some roasted broccoli with a spicy breadcrumb topping. So you have all of this on your plate. I think I'm gonna start with the, uh, the Brussels sprout cake first. That sounds actually. good to me. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. And Brussels sprouts get really sweet once they're roasted. They do. So that's kind of take good. on an excellent flavor. Yeah, and a little bit of salty tapenade on top, so that's pretty good. The chickpea flour is great because it's higher in protein. It mm -hmm. adds a little bit of extra fiber. It's, it's got a lot of more nutrition than your basic wheat flour. Yeah, that's great. All right, now I think I'm going to get started on the, the yams and beets next. This one's really pretty. Very this pretty. This is the prettiest one. <laughs> and that's just simple. I mean... I think sometimes people forget what vegetables taste like. It's very true. Very right? True. So just eating a vegetable like a vegetable. That's a, a nice little change of pace once in a while. All right, and we'll get into that broccoli. It's a lot of chewing. <laughs> I know. Delicious, though. <laughs> so, Nora, if people at home want to learn a little bit more about vegetarian, vegan nutrition, mm -hmm. what is a good resource for them? I very much recommend the Vegetarian Resource Group. Mm -hmm. They have an easy to access website. It addresses nutrition for all ages, all types of diets and special needs. Their web address is www.vrg.org. Again, the Vegetarian Resource Group and their articles and their information is all posted by physicians and registered dietitians. That's great. So the best of the best. Absolutely. <laughs> as far as information goes. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having and me. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you on the next episode of Save the Kales. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.